Hi, it's Hannah. And I'd like to share something with you that I share with my students all the time, and that is mindfulness. And I got this idea that I'm about to share with you um, from Annie Poirier at a conference. And Annie is actually uh, in the process of publishing a book. It's called uh, The Body Joyful, and it will be out next fall. Um, I have not read it, but I did see her speak at a conference, and it was really great. So I thought I would share this with you. I'm not sure who would watch this video, but this is definitely for for any age level. Um, so mindfulness is the state of being like present or aware of um, just just being. Breathing in, taking in your surroundings, um, if you're walking down a busy street, you know, the smells, um, checking in with your senses. Um, that's what, what mindfulness means to me. Um, so I share a lot of that information with my students and I also encourage them. Being mindful doesn't take a lot of our time. It is free. You don't have to buy anything to, to do it. And um, one of the easiest, um, most simplest ways to be mindful is just by taking in those senses, as I've mentioned, and breathing. Breathing in like a flower and breathing out through your mouth or your nose, whatever feels most natural to you. It doesn't really matter. But studies have shown that um, just doing that a few times changes a lot of what's going on in our minds. So this is um, how Annie ha has come into um, my, my new repertoire of what I share with students. And this is something that I would share with my best friend, my, my mom, um, other people in my life, or really anyone. Um, it's so good. So um, if you don't have a snow globe, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to use a snow globe for this activity. Um, Annie, in her um, description of this, she used a mason jar. And I would probably do this if I had a lot of time in explaining this to, to someone um, at a workshop, maybe, like she did. Um, but she took a mason jar, she filled it with water, and then she sprinkled in um, three different uh, colors of um, glitter. And those represented three things. I have to, I had wrote them down because I just want to get this right. Um, one, let's just say red was sprinkled in and that's our emotions. Um, yellow was sprinkled in and those are our thoughts. And the last color blue would be our feelings. And she sealed it tight, she shook it up. And as you can probably imagine what that looks like, um, the water got really f like fuzzy, like almost like a dirty, foggy look, um, and the glitter is all spinning and sparkly and all of that. Um, and that is kind of what the, I am using a snow globe for this. But that's kind of like what our mind does when we are having a, a, a moment. <laughs> Whether it's um, we're in the grocery store and we're on overload, um, it could be when you when you hear something that you're not uh, particularly um, fond of or happy about. Um, this can happen, you know, our minds go through this all the time. Um, it does not matter our age. Um, little kids need help processing this. Um, so this is a great tool or activity that you can use with your child. This is plastic, so this is perfect um, for a young one. But anyways, take a moment. Shake it up, this is our mind, this is how we're feeling, and then let's be mindful. And as you'll notice, and you're quite aware probably of what's happening, is quote, the dust is settling. And in our mind, when we're breathing and looking at the snow globe or your mason jar, things are just settling and you're kind of doing like a mind reset and that is so important to do. Um, so I really hope you liked this, um, this little mindfulness trick. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there, um, but I thought I would share this and I have to give, give credit to Annie Poirier for this um, at her conference. So thank you, Annie. And um, let me know in the comments if you do something like this 
um, if you're going to try it um, and all that stuff. I want to hear about it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like more of this content, um, thumbs up and thanks for subscribing. You take care.